Morocco is one of the critical points of the migratory crisis between Africa and Europe. Cardinal Cristobal López, Archbishop of Rabat, has a privileged view of the local church's response to this crisis, especially along the border with Algeria, the place of origin of many refugees and migrants attempting to reach Spain. En una noche, el padre... In a single night, the parish priest, who was also my vicar general, might wake up five, six, seven times to open the door to young people. Some are minors, and for one, two, or three months during the pandemic, he had up to 150 people staying at the parish because they couldn't move due to the lockdown. Morocco is a point of intersection for refugees and migrants who pass through countries like Senegal, Mali, and Niger, and risk their lives crossing the desert to reach Europe. Every week they face serious medical situations, surgeries, wounds, broken bones. Because crossing the border isn't free, it comes with falls, bruises, persecution. The migration challenge isn't the only concern for the church in Morocco, which Pope Francis visited in 2019. At the local synod currently underway, the church is addressing two other important matters. One is interreligious dialogue. The other is dialogue among Catholics for instance, between European priests and African lay people. Africans are very cheerful, dynamic, rhythmic, very loud, we could say. And Europeans like that at first, but they eventually ask for silence, tranquility, that everything be more subdued. It's okay that Mass is a little longer, but not more than two hours, please. The celebration styles are different. Cardinal Cristobal López is a Salesian. He spent many years in Paraguay and was made a cardinal on October 5, 2019. He's part of a group of cardinals who live in countries where Catholics are a minority. In Morocco, for instance, Catholics make up less than 1% of the population. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.